Malacca, Malaysia is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and we're going to go explore it with you today. We're Cindy and Eddie, and this is Squeeze the Day. There is a lot to see here, and they have maps throughout the city that give you a couple of ideas of where to go. We're going to start our journey today at the UNESCO World Heritage Site Marker. It's a great place to start because of its location. That is that building right there, where you're going to see some really cool vehicles. Let's go check those out. I think this map is a little bit more fun to look at. The Palace Museum is not open for us right now, so we're going to bypass that for just a moment and walk over to here, where we're gonna read about Porta de Santiago. This is what they believe the original fort design was looking like. We really love the historic part of this town, particularly because of how far back in time it goes, and there's so much history here to enjoy. This is on the back side of it, and they reinforced the doorway there because of how old it is and it's starting to fall apart. After that, you will see a set of stairs going up. St. Paul's Hill Church. We're gonna go check that out. Not too many steps, we're almost to the top. We'll come out to a landing here. The view on the backside is actually pretty nice. That's the way we came in. But we're gonna go around to the front to see what they have to show us. If you come early enough, you might get to catch them. Instagrammers. Check this out. We came up on the back side of this. We're going to walk out to the front so we can give you a little bit of context of exactly what this building is. It is significantly historic. If you're not interested in the building, come up here for that view. Look at that. Yeah, check out that view. That right there is the Malacca Strait. they reinforced the necessary arches. This building inside is really beautiful. It's worth a visit. It is definitely a significant place where you can go and get some beautiful Instagram photos, but make sure you come here early so you can beat the crowds. This includes a little bit of information about each one of those markers. There are a lot of steps, but don't let that deter you. You want to go up there and check that out. Here is where you will enter to go to that church on the hill. We keep discovering new things along the way. Check out this ancient fort. The old Portuguese fortress. So incredible how old this is. It's marked by a giant durian. Let's go up and check it out. Wow, I can't believe we're gonna get to walk on this fort. This part of the artifacts includes Dutch and Portuguese elements. And the view from here, let's check it out. Here's the fort from the front side. We're gonna get over there in just a minute. In this area, there is a significant number of museums and historical artifacts. We're gonna show you a couple of them. We don't wanna make this a history video. We wanna make this a travel video. So we're gonna keep moving on after a couple more shots. In case you wanted to know.
Look how beautiful this area is, and it's very well preserved. This street was modernized, but you can still feel the old world coming through. Just follow that map. You'll see little pieces of it all over the city. Behind us is the area we just came from. We're on our way over to Little India. And we're gonna show you what that looks like. You just have to walk in that direction. But this whole area is pretty amazing. They even have a sign for it. Check that out. We discovered some cute Volkswagen seating and some bicycle decorations along the way. And then we discovered this eclectic coffee shop that includes an earlier model coffee roaster and some very delicious coffee. It right now but there is a sign right there that's going to point you in the direction of this coffee shop we got to get our day started one of the reasons we wanted to come this way is because there's an actual river walk we wanted to show you and from what we've seen just being here for 10 seconds we're really happy we chose this because it's going to be a lot of fun the side that we're on right now is the little india side so that's what we're going to show you first look how well decorated that bridge is and then you've got these houses and shops on the side that are just amazing it's very picturesque this is the walkway we're going to be taking it really is a beautiful walk along this way. We just came across this. It looks like you can rent scooters to get around. Might be something worth considering later on. And these are the points along the river that you can pick them up or drop them. So real quick to show our progression of the day so far. We went through this way, came up here, got these, and now we're walking up here. To here. To here, and we're gonna go up this way. To, to cross to, this to, bridge. These lights would be really cute if they were on. This is not our first river walk. We actually were at the river walk in San Antonio, Texas, almost a year ago. It was actually pretty amazing. You can also see that video if you're interested. This is located at this fountain, which isn't running right now, but pretty here. We're gonna cross this bridge to get to the other side and start heading back. It's starting to rain a little bit. Yeah, it is starting to rain a little bit. Oh man, this bridge is really cute. If we were to continue up this way, that's where it would have taken us. It's a beautiful walk. Maybe next time we're in this neighborhood. We do plan on coming back to the city because we're having so much fun here. That's where we just came from. We came up this bridge and we're gonna head back down on the right-hand side. It doesn't really look like the Pirate Park is in operation anymore, but at one point it was pretty cute. And now we are on the far side heading back. They have little hanging lights on this hotel. You can only imagine how pretty that is at night. We get too much further down the river. We're noticing as we continue to walk through this city, there is so much to see. It is quite beautiful. Not too many tourists. It really is quite amazing here. We're thinking this looks pretty amazing with all these lights at night. And we're back where we started on the river walk right here. We're gonna continue on the right hand side to see what else we can see along the river walk. Look at that beautiful hotel. Cindy wanted to keep walking this way, but I'm opting for an alternative route for just a minute. But you can see on the far side of this, just past that bridge, there's more river walk. Oh, and some more Volkswagen bugs. Continuing along the river walk. Just a minute ago, we showed you where that was. That is one of the sections of the wall. That is the church. So we're gonna continue along this way to see what else we can see. This guy came out of the river. Let me show you how big he is. If that's how big he is, 
That's Cindy. That's probably a good three feet long. Cindy looking lovely. There's another one, look at that. This is where we started earlier. We're gonna cross the bridge here to get over into what's called Junker Street. An hour has gone by since we were here last and there is a significant increase in the number of tourists that are in this area. So if you wanna get this without a whole lot of tourists or traffic, you wanna get here early. The Hard Rock Cafe is an easy way to figure out where you're at if you wanted to search it on Google Maps, or you could just look for that giant tiger statue right in the middle. We're going to head down the main street first and see what else we can find as we walk around. Old Town Directory map. There are so many twists and turns, lots of streets to walk up and down, and a lot of different types of shops that you can go in and visit. So we're gonna just show you a couple quick clips of that before we move on to the next one. This is where we were. We came across this bridge. The Hard Rock Cafe was there, and this is Junker Walk. We're here right now. That's a Coca Banana Puff. We wanted to try it out. Cindy's gonna take the first one. Mmm, that's the cocoa part for sure. It's really delicious. You can taste the banana though, right? That's really good. It's so good. They also have a durian flavored one. We wanted to try that. This is what you're looking for. Stop by here to grab Portuguese egg tart and some pumpkin chips. I've been wanting to try one of these for the longest time. I thought we would wait until we got to Portugal to do it, but okay, we're gonna try it now. Okay, ready? Yes. We're gonna take the first bite. How does that compare with the cream puff? That's a lot better. That's really good. Here we go. <laughs> wow, look at that egg in there. Yeah, that's, that's worth it. Amazing. Another great picture provided by Cindy on her Instagram. You should check that out too. That's just the ice part. Coconut milk. Red bean, palm sugar. We call it ulam laka, made from the coconut flour chendo. So uh, this is our creator of our desserts. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Hope you enjoy it. I think we will. <laughs> Thank you. First we put the sheep ice on it and then we put the coconut milk. Alright, and then we put the red bean on it. Then we mix the palm sugar. Then finally we put the chendo, the green one. We call it chendo. It's the pandan, a kind of plant. Eddie's trying it. It's definitely sweet. However, it's savory at the same time. Everything put together, it's a, an amazing flavor. It almost has a flavor of cereal. This is where we got it. So if you're interested in getting some for yourself, look for this sign. Thank you so much, Conan. Uh, thank you. Cheng Hoon Tang Temple is in this direction. This is a walking street that is known for the art on the walls. So we're gonna show you that real quick. Keep going. When you get to this T-junction, turn right. Continuing to follow Cindy, we're gonna turn left. Earlier, we walked past that tiger. At this point, we're kind of just wandering around the city, looking at different buildings, shops, stuff like that. We made it back to the Hard Rock Cafe Bridge area. So we're gonna cross back over to the other side and continue touring around this amazing town. We saw a lot on this side of the river, but there's so much more where we originally started today. 
We started here this morning. Now we're heading over in this direction to see what else is available for us to enjoy. Look how cute this little photo op is. Thank you so much. He's got the lights on for us in the middle of the day. So if you see him, grab him. It's kind of hard to miss this giant ship you can see from just about anywhere. It costs 20 ringgit or about $5 US to get in to see the ship. We're running out of time because it's getting kind of late and we've been out here all day. So we're gonna keep moving on. Although that does look pretty fun to play in. Maybe next time. This isn't the first time we've been to a pirate themed area. Check out a link to our Kempechi video in the description below. Right across the street from the boat is a market. Let's check this place out. We're gonna go right in through the center door. We're going to turn left and keep on exploring. We love going to markets like this and finding that one unique thing that makes them special. And this is what we found. Look at that. And you know it's fresh when it's made right here. How much is a container like this? 10 ringgit. You want a cheese? Yes, he yeah, wants. Yeah, he I definitely want to try this. Oh, look at that. So it's like the thickness of caramel. It's hot, so it's like made fresh. It's made from coconut milk. Coconut sugar. And coconut sugar. It's got the consistency of caramel, but it tastes like coconut. So that's 10. That's 15. It's worth it. If you're interested in that, this is where you go to get it. And you want to come and find Sophie to get that. And now we're going upstairs. The prices seem pretty reasonable and it looks like it's good. They have a little bit more shopping upstairs, so feel free to look around there as well. But I think we're done with the shopping for the day. Time to head back outside. This isn't the only ship they have in town. Unfortunately, this one is closed for maintenance. I guess we're gonna have to come back and see if they're open next time. If it was open, that's where you'd climb up onto it. And all these guys are here getting ready for the day. One of the things that is very popular to do here is the bird's eye view tower. parade here is kind of entertaining. It's another fun thing you can do when you're here in Malacca. So you'll want to get on one of these to catch a ride around and save yourself a whole lot of energy. Those are even better at night when they're all lit up and there's a whole bunch of them out. And how about this area here? You've got a train, you got a plane, lots of fun. That's the view we showed you this morning from the church on top of the hill. Now we've come full circle. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. And stay tuned as we continue to travel throughout Malaysia and the rest of the world. Like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.